Hey, hello, it's Tim with Expert Power Wash here in Portland, Oregon. And I wanted to talk about bleach resistant pants. I get a lot of questions about this on the channel. And I've been through countless numbers of pants. I've tried a lot of different things. Um, so let me show you what I use. And um, if you guys have options that you use that you've had success with, uh, drop it in the comments for anybody that finds this video. Uh, it'll be kind of a resource because I know that uh, finding bleach resistant pants is, is somewhat difficult. So yeah, leave it in the comments down below. Um, let's take a look at what I use. Maybe this will be helpful to you. If it is, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe. Uh, I was going through some of the stats on the videos that you guys all watch and 95% of my views come from people that are not subscribed. So if you do find this helpful, hit the subscribe button. Um, I'll have lots more stuff to kind of help you guys out and give tips. All right, let's take a look. All right, let's take a look here. Um, I'll start off with the first ones. These are the ones I was wearing last year. Uh, I cannot find these anymore. They are on eBay for ridiculous amounts of money, but they're just the Swiss Tech pants from Walmart. Uh, what's the tag say here? You see they're 100% polyester. So that's what you guys want to look for if you're looking at pants other than what I'm recommending here or you happen to be in Costco or another store, you happen to see some pants, look for that 100% polyester. That's a good good start. Also, that works for shirts too. So you can kind of see these were used all last year. And they're, uh, they're like a tan khaki type. And then you can see down here, I, these were on countless amounts of roofs. Um, I don't know if it's the way I spray, but I think after about a hundred roofs or so, I don't know if these pants seen a hundred roofs, but quite a few. So I did change up from them. Uh, one reason of course was that they weren't making them anymore, or, or at least they weren't, they didn't have them at Walmart. Uh, so then I went to these dickies here and I got two pairs laid out because I wanted to show you guys the difference the exact same pants exact same size everything um the ones here on the right these ones have probably seen uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 roof cleanings in the last a uh, couple weeks or so but you can kind of see the difference so put them right up kind of close up to each other this one is slightly faded and unless you have them beside each other, you really can't tell a the difference. They actually look like they're in really good shape. The lights kind of, it doesn't do it justice here. Let me back up a little bit. The light kind of makes them look lighter than what they look like in real life. But anyways, these pants, and I got these ones right beside it so you can kind of see the tags, but they're the flat front, flex. And don't let the slim fit scare you away. I'm not a slim dude, but... Uh, these actually fit better, in my opinion, they fit better than the 874s. Um, anybody that uses the 874s, you know, comment down below, but they, they run a little tight. You actually have to go up a size. At least that's what I found. And these are actually um, true to the size, so I wear the 3430s anyways. So going in here, what type of material are these? Let me see if it's on the tag in here. get this to where you guys can actually read it so these are 65 percent polyester 35 percent cotton and i was a little skeptical but i've seen these recommended i know cotton tends to bleach out a lot quicker than anything so really you should stay away from cotton but these dickies seem to work out really well i will add one more point um from what I've seen, and then I have a buddy in, in Arkansas, he uses the Wranglers from Walmart, but it depends on the color. So the gray seems to work out a lot better than what the khaki works out. So if you guys have had that experience, again, throw it in the comment down below so others can kind of find this as a resource. But one of the reasons too, I use gray. For one, I think it looks better with the blue. And then also it, it, it doesn't look as dirty you know, if you're out running a turbo nozzle on a retaining wall or something like that, when you're using these, 
you get any bit of dirt on them and then you, you know, automatically just look trashy. So these tend to hide a little bit more of the dirt. Um, I can wipe them down with a rag if there's any debris on there and it really, it really does well as, as far as hiding the dirt. And one of the, you know, of course the main thing is they handle the bleach pretty well. So hey, I hope this is helpful to any guys that are looking for pants that are bleach resistant or pants that you can pressure wash in. Um, it's kind of been trial and error for me. There, there might even be better options than I'm sure there is out there. Like I said earlier, if you guys have better options, drop it in the comments down below what you're using. And uh, hope you guys all have a great day. Talk to you soon.